people, people in this day and age are brainwashed and programmed like a computer at being nothing more than puppets. He sets up a satanic altar, a satanic altar in his house. He dabbles in the occult, right? You're learning all this, but still no idea of murder. with an attorney who has access to that prison quite intimately and what happened was there were there was about 20 to 40 minutes of time where no one that is the staff at the prison no one knew the whereabouts of this person who took a barbell or the rod the, the bar from weightlifting equipment and hit it and and bludgeoned Jeff to death. In other words, he, they let him be loose for all that time without knowing the whereabouts of a prisoner. I, this, this attorney said he was confident that it was something that was allowed to happen, as he put it.
Then Whitman aims at the city and kills random shoppers and even a man in a barber chair. This is a warning to the citizens of Austin. Stay away. Good morning, how are you doing? When we returned to prison for our final interview with Wayne Williams, we had one question he was not expecting. What Wayne had written about being recruited for espionage training as a teenager. At a secret government camp hidden in the woods near this North Georgia lake, where he was given what could amount to a license to kill. It's called Finding Myself. What's Finding Myself? It reads like an autobiography. Go ahead, I'm, I'm, I'm see what you're It's, it's a account of your CIA training. We're not gonna get into that. Why not? We're not gonna get into that. I got a copy of it. Yeah, but we're not gonna get into that. Why not? You're just simply not gonna get into that. By his account, Wayne Williams was fresh out of high school, just 18 years old, when he was initiated into a secret world. So, I'll do the talking part and you can answer what part of it you want. You write how you fired rifles, submachine guns, handled assault weapons, grenade launchers, C4, learned uh, unarmed combat techniques through this training group over weekends. Is it, is it true or is it false? We're not going to comment on that. When you're 19 years old. You're saying you work for the CIA. You've been recruited. I'll let the document speak for itself. We're not going to comment on that. Copyright 1992 by Wayne Williams. Is this an autobiography? I cannot comment on that. Were you trained in unarmed combat techniques? Could you grab somebody bigger than yourself, put them in a chokehold? Because that's what that is. I'm sure there are other things that are on combat besides putting somebody in a chokehold. But when I talk to the uh, military experts and I say to them, what exactly does that mean? That's one of the things on their list. Top two things, by the way. I wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt that. So are you trained in I mean, that let me, or not? Let me, let me say this. Let's just say that I had some experiences that I do not want to comment on today for reasons that the document says, OK? The fact is, what does that have to do with the situation today? Everything. You tell me. It what? has everything to do with it. A, a big part of the conversation when I talked to your lawyers was, could Wayne Williams grab somebody? Did he have the strength? Look how he's not a big guy. Could now, he, could I, he, I could he grab someone in an unarmed combat technique and kill them? It's actually a very simple question. Can you kill someone with a chokehold? And when you, you were 19 years could. old... <laughs> you probably could under the right I know for a fact I could not. I know, uh, for a, I know you're being facetious, but I know for I know, a fact I, I could saying. not. You don't, you don't know but uh, were you trained as a teenager to do that? Because that's what you're writing in this. All and I, 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 I get CIA, you don't want to talk about it. It's all off the record. Let, let, let me state this for the record. Okay. Um, I think in the paper that you have, and I, I will say this, that it says that there was contact with a certain program. And I will say it was the Joint Officer, excuse me, Junior Officer Training Program, which was run by a certain agency, and you're correct, CIA. But I never said that I worked for them. I simply said now who's splitting hairs? that I Were had you trained? some contact Were you with trained? some person, and that's all I'm going to say. Were you trained? That's all I'm in these say. techniques. That's all I'm going to say.
glad to be here. This is a congressional inquiry. I think that all of you know that I'm here to find out more about uh, questions that have been raised about your operation here. But I can tell you right now that from the few conversations I've had with some of the folks here already this evening, that uh, whatever the comments are, there are some people here who believe that this is the best thing they've ever had of them in their whole life. of the following day would shock the world. that Jim Jones used in his Cult of the People's Temple are definitely classical mind control techniques. And according to a book by Michael Myers, which is called Was Jonestown a CIA Medical Experiment? His documentation leads him to conclude that actually Jonestown was run by the CIA. Prior to being Jonestown in the deep jungles of British Guiana, that site was actually under control of what was called the Shalom Project. This was a CIA program for training black mercenaries for warfare in Angola. Sharon Tate LaBianca's murder, okay, was a, was a witch's hitting. Sharon Tate wanted out, but the thing is, the Illuminati... Designed, what do you mean she wanted out? She was a she witch? Want, yes, she was tired of it. She wanted to get out, but Sharon the thing Tate is... Witch, okay. Oh, but the thing is... You base those allegations on what? on when I was in myself. I'm not the only one who knows this information. Anybody who was in witchcraft during that time can tell you the same thing. What happened that was... That Sharon Tate was a practicing witch? Yes. Okay. As a matter of fact, um, the Illuminati... Mm -hmm. I have no information to refute it, so I'm only going on what you're saying. The Illuminati sent Charles Manson in to kill her. If you remember, she was, she was killed. Um, one leg was flung up from the rafter, her hands behind her, her... Um, throat sliced open. There was a tower, a, um, 78 cards in a tower deck. You look at the 12th major arcane one, it's look, it looks like the hangman. That's exactly how Sharon Tate LaBianca was left. Charles Manson did not go into prison. He volunteered to go in. So you're saying that Charles Manson came from this, this group, the Illumo? He's one of the most powerful wizards alive today. Okay. Oh. And You've got to have a strong system. But in order for it to be a strong system, the system's got to be right, man. You can't fake it. You can't jump up and knock a bunch of people down and say, see how strong we are? That thing's going to, you know, that's not going to do it. You've got to be right. You've got to finesse it. You've got to have a one-world government. You've got to have a one-world court. There can be no place in the world that you can get away. In the meantime, though, since that is probably a long way away, one not world as government, far as you might think. Well, it's probably not going to happen next week, anyway. in 1993 announced that the entire spree was engineered by a satanic cult and others had participated in the plot. Of course everyone had played a role as far as the the chanting and the praying everyone had, had a role in that and, and understanding that you know this was going to be another uh, sacrifice to our gods bunch of scumbags that they were <laughs> to our gods, Lucifer and his crew, and 
we said, yeah, this is going to be another one for you, you know, and I said, 